Hello and welcome back everyone to Last Level Press. I am Mr. Black and this is, hopefully, as I said before, the very last episode of Bunker 16. I have retraced my steps from before in attempting to find out whether or not there is an alternate better ending to this game. I have found one more note on this run through than I did before here at the very tail end. Which reads, the key opened the lock of a chest. In this chest I found a syringe. Morphine. I'm pretty sure that this could kill me. Is this the only way out of here? Isn't this better than dying of thirst? So yeah, more or less just recounting the dilemma of grabbing the key and then opening that box. Inside of which I know there is morphine. So now, now, we're going to see if my hunch was correct. What's up, head guys? I'm going to call you Hedbert. I don't know why. I just think it fits. I'm going to call him Hedbert. What's up, Hedbert? And we're going to go see if that door down at the very end of the hallway is now not jammed and openable and filled with better endings. We're going to find out. All right. Can I open this now? Yes. All right. What's in here? Got me uns. I don't know what that means. Uh, the statue is showing me a way. No, not a way. The way. I can finally leave this place! But what did it mean when it said join me? I guess I will find out. I am ready. Are you? Are you sure? Um, ooh, here we go. Another little note thingy. The floor in one of the rooms is unfinished. We'll dig a hole there and then force the bitch to sit in it, then fill it up with concrete. That's what I thought! She screamed like a little girl. We had to break her legs to make her sit still. Once she swallowed liquid concrete, she became silent. Well, that's dark! So, I really am guessing that all of the, uh, too spooky for you paranormal stuff going on here is definitely that lady's ghost. And that this guy's hunch was probably correct and that there are, or rather were, criminals that used this place as some manner of cash or hideout or something. Now what I don't know is showing me the way, is that referring to taking the morphine? <laughs> and dying? Or not. That's what I don't know. Let's see if there's anything that I missed. Because this place loves to rearrange itself on me. And I've really tried. I've gotten good at, like, speedrunning this game. I've tried to be pretty uh, conservative with my battery usage. So hopefully I'll have a fair amount of exploration time to find things that may or may not be here. But I hope are, in the sake of getting a more satisfying conclusion to this game. Hedbert, why aren't you giving me the answers? The dead lady in the ground tries to give me answers. Hedbert, you just sit there and you hum. What good has humming ever done anyone? Anything? In the stove? No, not really. Are these just a red herring or are they just a very barely practical means of conserving battery usage while you're in these lit up corridors. I, I really don't know what good playing around with the light fuses actually is. Okay, it says she's showing me the way. She's pointing to an oddly crooked light. <laughs> um, I don't know, there's like nothing here. That's that same note. Yep. Um, I've got nothing. Alright, well now that I've found every note, I'm gonna see if the injection actually kills me. You know what? Nope. 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 Not yet, because I ran all the way through this game <laughs> to test this. I'm gonna check every little nook and cranny and find out if there's anything else that I have missed, because I'm not doing this a fourth time. Just no. Let's see, I'm gonna drag you guys along with me, because I refuse, after all of this, to suffer alone any longer. By the way, this is where I found the uh, extra note, back here in this little hallway. I realized the first time I ran through that I went down that hallway and never came down here. So this is what was missed. Okay, I apologize if this episode becomes really unrewarding and if there is no alternate episode, but I'm gonna upload it anyway, because... I want you guys to know how much I work and suffer for you sometimes. Is there anything else? I still feel like there should be something to these vents. Got to me doing. Wait a minute. 
The souls of those who die in this concrete grave shall never leave and never find peace. Instead, they shall become a part of this place. Their souls shall be the mortar and the twisted minds the architect. Press E to destroy. Okay. What did that do? Press E to destroy. I'm pressing E. I, I guess it was just for the one page. Okay. Uh... I think that's good. I think... I think that's good. That's something that wasn't there before. Hopefully that wasn't just me being like, No, I cannot accept my fate! <laughs> and just tearing it down. And I just damn near spit all over my monitor. Because... Kind of went a little <laughs> there at the end, but... I am not speaking Yiddish. Alright. What? Hang on. Was that note always there? Down at the end? Is that is that an exit? Ooh, hang on. This looks like, like a boarded up wall or something. Can I destroy that? No. What about that? No. Uh, the main door is gone. No, damn it! You were supposed to be a door! Or some manner of ending indicator. I'm missing something. I know I'm missing something. I'm on the trail. I'm gonna find it, whatever it is. Okay. There has to be more to this game, because it was so good up until the ending of the last one. I'm really glad now that I, like, ran through this and spared my uh, flashlight, because I think this is gonna take... Wait a minute. Take a nap? I can go back to sleep? This never happened before. Okay. I'm with you, game. I'm, whoa, hang on. I'm just in a room. Uh. Oh, no. Um. No, how could you not? Could you? Screw you all. I'm gonna push you. I'm gonna push, push. Oh. Oh, the other wall moved. So that's how it's gonna be, huh? Okay, well, fine, I'll just... N n <laughs> could you, you... Could you not? I'd really appreciate it if you wouldn't. Actually, you can't crush me to death. I can see why. See? There's those little corners. Little corners there. They're gonna butt up against each other. And that's just gonna leave me in a little... Tiny... Uncomfortably tightly packed box. Yeah. See? I... Yeah. That's how this is gonna work. I'm not gonna get crushed to death. It is a physical impossibility, given... The lower baseboards. It's just gonna get really cramped. Uh, I apologize to any of you in the audience that are claustrophobic. I'm not, and this is making even me uncomfortable. Uh. Uh. Am I alive? Yeah, I'm alive. Okay, all right. I knew it was a good idea to get through this one more time. I knew there had to be more to this game. I had faith in you. Even though I gave you pretty harsh, tough love in the last episode. Okay, I knew it was worth it to try and get back through this. Ah, oh, thank God. I was really worried that this was going to be as disappointing as it led me to think it might have been. Okay, alright. Good, 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 good. So, alright. The morphine was a red herring. That was just a, hey, take the quick way out. Which is cool, because, like, real world, I wouldn't want to take that shit. I would still want to fight to try and find a way out of here, so I'm glad that this game lets me do that. Alrighty then. Got to meet uns. Can I open the door now? No? Maybe? Possibly? There's still a keyhole in it, so... Is there a key this time? On this round... Is there a key? I hope so. Oh man, of course I took so much time in the last... Life, would you call it? Day? Sleep cycle? Oh man, now I'm really fearful of my battery life. I do not want this game to end now because of dead battery. That's still one thing that I really, really criticize with this game, is that you've basically got a time limit, and that's not cool. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Let me go find stuff. No, there's nothing in here. At all. Nothing of import. Uh, nothing, nothing. I'm like, I'm, I apologize this is going really fast for some of you guys, but I'm like paranoid that my light's going to go out and I'm not going to be able to do anything. So I'm going to turn it off in here, and I'm going to light the... I guess I'll do the hallway. I think that'll be the most um, beneficial. Because that should lead into just about everywhere else. Is there anything in the 
spooky pantry this time. You know, this is looking familiar. This is looking like when I first came in. There's a cup of coffee. I'm not sure if it's exact, my memory eludes me. But this is looking really, really familiar right now. Let's see, I'm gonna try to go, 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 go. Can I turn on the light now in the hallway, please? Yes, good. All right, turn the light off, save battery. Uh, creepity, blinkity. Hmm. Okay, more bandages that I can't take. Ah! Strobe! Okay. The lighting actually does look really good when it's on and all shadowy and creepy. Okay, apparently I really picked a good light to turn on. That's good, because now I'm not quite so worried. Um, I'm not finding anything, though. There's nothing in there. This really does feel like the first time that I came in. I'm not sure if that's a good thing or not, though. Uh, okay, this is the door that was jammed before. Alright, light on. Oh! Hi! Take the key and run! Oh, hang on. Hold your horses, dude. I gotta see if there's anything in here. Okay. Take the key and run. Running I can do. Let's go. Let's take it to the front door. If this is arranged the way I think it is, this should lead to the front door. It should. Alright. There's the door. We're going. We're going. Come on. Yes! 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 <gasps> Lights! Leave the bunker! Hi. What's up? How's it going, ghouly buddy? Ha <laughs> ha! Alright! Yes! Success! I live! Oh, alright. Okay, so apparently this was made in Zurich, Switzerland. Was it Swi Swedish that I was seeing the whole time? No, not Swedish. <laughs> I just offended my entire European audience. Swiss? I don't even know if the Swiss have their own language. I, I'm sorry, that makes me seem really ignorant and uneducated. I, I really don't. If they do, please enlighten me, guys. That was a somewhat more satisfying ending. A lot more than before when it just kind of ended like, I'm oh, sorry, you died. Um, it still doesn't provide many answers, and I'm still unsure as to what the paranormal element to this game was. It would feel a lot more concise and a lot more easy to read if some of the sound effects weren't, like, uh, um, gender in specific. Because um, they keep in those little scroll notes indicating that it's probably this dead lady associate of whatever criminal element was using this bunker. Um, and then some of the weird spirits seemed to be masculine. So I don't really know what's up with that. Unless it's to say that after um, they killed her, maybe she killed them, and it's all of them that we're coming into contact with here. I guess that might be it. I would just like to have had some indication uh, of that, rather than having to just purely speculate. But that was, mm, pardon me, trying not to spit all over my monitor again. <laughs> um, that was at least more satisfying in that I feel like there's real closure to it this time and it didn't just end. So I hope you guys enjoyed this playthrough. That should now definitely be the last episode in this series. So thank you all for joining me for Let's Play Bunker 16. I am Mr. Black here at Last Level Press. And as always, I wish you all good gaming and Godspeed.